So if you have a car that starts and then it sputters and shuts off, I thought I'd go over the causes of this and how you could go about fixing it. And the first thing to do if this happens to you or if you have any engine problems really is to scan the onboard computer for any error codes with an OBD2 scan tool. And this is really easy to do. Every vehicle built after 1996 has an OBD2 port on the driver's side up underneath the dashboard somewhere. And you basically just plug in a scan tool and you just read what error codes are on there. And it's gonna help point you to what the problem is. And there's some really low cost OBD2 scan tools. You get some for like 20, 30, dollars on Amazon. I'll put a link down below if you need one. But the first thing to do, if possible, is to see what error codes is on the onboard computer. And the second thing is if the engine runs for a little bit, like around one minute roughly or so, then very likely the spark and the timing are good. Because the engine's gonna need a few things to run correctly. It's gonna need the right timing, it's gonna need spark, it's gonna need the correct air fuel ratio mixture going into the engine. But if the engine's running for like at least 30 seconds, one minute, around that, before it shuts off, then very likely you are getting spark and very likely your timing is good. And so the most common problem with this is gonna be that the air fuel ratio mixture going into the engine engine is off, that there's something wrong with the air fuel ratio mixture. And so that's going to be the main thing to go and look at. So what would be some common causes? Well, first of all, a dirty or bad MAF sensor. This would be located right up by the engine intake air filter. And it basically just reports back to the onboard computer how much air is going into the engine. And then the onboard computer uses this to get the air fuel ratio mixture correct. And if that sensor gets dirty, which is very common, or if it fails, then it can cause issues. And like I said, if you do a scan of the onboard computer for any error codes, it'll give you something that'll point to this. So you'll get something like a P0101, which will point to that mass airflow sensor. So if you do get something like a P0101 or P0102, something along those lines, then you know it's something that's going on with that MAF sensor and you can go look at it. Another common problem with this is that something's wrong with the fuel delivery. A quick way you can rule out a fuel-related issue is to do a fuel pressure test with the fuel pressure gauge. There's usually a fuel pressure port on the fuel rail on top of the engine that you could connect the fuel pressure gauge to. And if it's not running at the correct pressure rated for that engine, then you know there's a problem. So that's a quick way you could tell if there's an issue. But common problems with the fuel pressure is going to be a clogged or dirty fuel filter. Quite often these are located inside the gas tank, but sometimes there's inline fuel filters that are located up underneath the vehicle and these need to be changed out regularly. And if your vehicle has an inline fuel filter like this, then these need to be changed out regularly or else they can become clogged up and they block the fuel pressure. Like I said, not all vehicles have these nowadays. Sometimes they are inside the gas tank, but if yours is like this, then it's a good idea to replace that fuel filter since it is part of regular maintenance. The next thing with fuel pressure is that the fuel pump could be going bad. It's just not pumping correctly. And the main way you'd go about testing these is to do a fuel pressure test, but a bad fuel pump can cause this issue. Another thing that could cause this problem is if you have a vacuum leak somewhere inside the engine, because this will throw off the air ratio mixture going into the engine. And there's different ways you go about trying to find a vacuum leak. A very common method, and, and the method I like to use, is I use a smoke machine and you feed smoke into the intake and wherever the smoke comes out, you know there's a leak. There's some really low cost smoke machines on like Amazon or eBay. You can even make some up yourself for like less than ten dollars there's some youtube videos on that and there's some other ways you could test for a vacuum leak but the next thing that could cause this is that somewhere on the intake there's a vacuum leak going on and it's thrown off the air mixture and another very common problem is that one or more of the fuel injectors has just gone bad and they might be getting clogged up or something like this or they're not just spraying out correctly there's different ways you go about testing the injectors there's some good youtube videos on that also but the next thing on the list is going to be a bad or clogged fuel injector and so that's basically it i just wanted to go over the main causes and fix is for a car that starts, but then it sputters and shuts off. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.